afternoon. Good afternoon. Okay. Uh, Deepa, Deepali. Only Deepa? Deepali. Deepali. Okay. Deepali. So you mind introducing yourself, please? Yeah, sure. Why not? Uh, hello, ma'am. Good afternoon. I'm Deepali Harani and I'm from Maharashtra. I have completed my post graduation and uh, I have also a small YouTube channel. How long we took to Deepali? I'm farmer's daughter. I live in a small village. Oh, okay. Yes. Have a long way to go. Any inspiration behind this name? Actually, ma'am, uh, I think that uh, we do not need to stop anywhere. We must go on. Like, uh, we must give our best. If you achieve something, so it is not that way you need to stop. You can go like beyond that thing. So mm. there is no limit of your dreams. There is no limits of your goals. So have a long way to go. Yes. No matter where you are, you still have a long way to go. No matter how much you've learned. Yes. yes. So, do you want to know about me? Or you have an So, that's all about me. It's amazing. Yeah. You are doing amazing work, ma'am. I have seen your videos and I have also commented there. Uh, so, I thought that why not I uh, I need to talk with ma'am. So I, I mean, then uh, we meet and we are having a session. Yeah, that's nice. Your confidence level is good. You're not afraid, You're not afraid to talk to anybody. So, people generally yes. tend to become nervous when a person talks better English as compared to them. Yes. And we are not able yeah. to convey our thoughts properly. But you are confident. Mm -hmm. And uh, yes. you don't care, actually. When a person learns to not care, then they are not scared about things. Be it English or whatever. They don't care what happens. So, I feel that about you. You are confident. And also, you have that thing that you have learned English by your own. Like you have put in all the effort and you've learned it on your own. So that is where you get your confidence from. I want to learn. I want to do this. So that is commendable. Yeah. It was not only like, you know, you need content for your YouTube channel. That is why you're approaching me. It is not like that. You want to talk to me. You want to learn something from the session. So that was the intention. Yes. Because many people do yeah. it, people. So yeah, it is nice having you. Yeah, please tell me. You're eager to tell me something. Actually, uh, ma'am, think is that like uh, we talk with lots of people, so they are very different. Like uh, I have talked with lots of people, and they share their experiences. So uh, learning from their experiences is different because my experience is very different because I live in a very small village. So I know that what kind of difficulties village people uh, face when they learn this language because yes. I do not have this much uh, environment uh, where can I uh, improve my English. So, but I have created that environment uh, because of I want to learn this language. And because of that, I thought that no, anyhow, I want to learn this language. So, I started uh, speaking with myself. I started practicing on my own. So, that hmm. is how my journey starts. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, how is and, weather? Uh, the weather here is a bit dull and gloomy. It's not very nice and yeah. pleasant. Yeah, it is also you very uncomfortable because uh, like in morning in the morning it was like uh, cloudy and it was raining it was drizzly and now it is like sunny and uh, it is like humid day so I'm mm. very uncomfortable. Yeah. Which district does your village belong? Are you right now living in the village? Yeah, yeah, I am from village. Uh, it is in Amaravati. It is a Amrauti. small village. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah, I've heard about Amaravati. Yeah. Uh, right. Yeah. And uh, why English? Because in village, definitely it is not important for you to learn or speak English. And if you speak yeah. English also, you will have to face a little bit of, uh, you know, tantrums from people. Why Why English? Why do you want to speak like that, etc. So why did you get interested yeah. in English? And how did you create an environment for yourself? Because there are a lot of villagers. They don't have environment. They don't have speaking partners. And it is a little yes. struggle for them even getting internet at their homes electricity internet yeah. it is a literal struggle if they want to learn english so why and how yeah, Please. yeah. uh thing is that ma'am it is all about your interest if you have interest to learn new language so no one you uh, no one can stop you so that is how like i was like i was uh, struggling a lot to find a partner like a uh, communication partner so like uh, people here are not interested even like i my friends even do not speak in english and mm. that day, I was like, okay, um, I was trying to speak with my friends as well. Uh, so, they they were not like, 
I don't want to uh, learn this language. Why do we need to learn this language? We mm. live in Maharashtra. So our Marathi, uh, our mother tongue is Marathi. So they are mm. not interested now as well. So yes. I was like, okay. Uh, so I started uh, practicing myself. Like I used to stand in front of mirror. And I used to talk with wrong English with anyone, like with myself. And I was taking one topic and I was speaking. Um, what, if, what I have done entire day? What is my plan for today? And uh, what I have done yesterday? And uh, what is happening in my life as well? And mm. I was like self-talk. We always say self-talk. It is, uh, mm. we always talk with people, but we do not talk with ourselves. So I started to talk with myself. Okay. You started and recording then, yourself. Earlier it was not. Like uh, only mirror, uh, mirror practice. And uh, then uh, when I get comfortable uh, to making mistake, uh, then I started to record my voice in mobile recorder. And then uh, I started to recognize that, okay, I'm making mistakes a lot. I need someone who can, who can correct me. But the uh, thing is that, hey, they were, there is no one who can correct me. And in that uh, time, I thought that, okay, I will read book. I will listen to podcasts. And okay. uh, I, I started to uh, talk with uh, like uh, my friends. They were like, not interested, but still I used to talk with them. Mm. And I started to practice with them as well. So whenever I get, get the opportunity, I create that opportunity. Sometimes we do not get opportunity because of, you know, obviously like in Maharashtra, there are no opportunities, especially in villages. So mm. I used to talk with my parents as well. Ma'am, just give me it. Okay? So I used to talk with my Baba as well. Like he do not understand English, but uh, he is my big inspiration. Like mm. for every girl, like uh, her father is uh, her uh, inspiration. So my Baba played an important role in my life. Yes. So he yeah. always, uh, I always talk with him in English. Baba, I want to say this. Baba, I want to say this. Just listen to me like that. And he was like, yeah, you can tell me whatever you want to say, you can tell me like that. So I was like, yes, I I have someone who can I speak. So I speak, I used to speak with him as well, like that. Uh, so then again, I started to record uh, myself in a mobile recorder. We have this feature. Uh, then uh, that is how I started uh, to uh, like upload my videos on YouTube as well. And then mm -hmm. I got to know that, no, you need to work on this, you need to work on this. And I was speaking wrong English confidently, ma'am. Correct, correct. Yeah. It happens. First, you yeah. have to gain confidence. People do not have that. That fear is there. What if I make mistakes? So that will never give you confidence to speak. Because mistakes are a yes. part of spoken English. No matter how much you yes. learn, even I make mistakes during conversations. If I look at my recordings, I will realize what mistake I have made. So mistakes are a yes. part and they are acceptable in spoken English a little bit of it. But while writing, yeah. you have to be precise. You have to be correct all the time. So yeah, mistakes are yeah. acceptable. And the day you realize that, that time you will gain confidence mm -hmm. that even if I'm making mistake, I have to speak. Yes. Some people are there. Uh, they criticize you for your wrong English. So at uh, that time, you feel like that, okay, I, I, I need someone who can correct me. And uh, you always want feedbacks. But people, some people are, do not give you feedback, but they criticize you. And you feel bad of that, but uh, you feel bad because you are not getting feedback, but you are getting criticized by people. So ma'am, this is the main reason we do not start to speak. I have seen lots of people and lots of learners. They are able to uh, write. They are, fluent, they are fluent in writing as well. But they are not able to speak. Why, why this has happened? Because of fear of judgment and fear of making mistakes. Ma'am, I have seen, like, if you are speaking with a fluent speaker and if, if that person is arrogant person, so definitely that person will bully you for speaking wrong English. And because yes. of that judgment and making uh, making up wrong sentences, uh, you take your step back. Like you are ready to learn this language, but you are getting criticized by people. And uh, at, at very initial stage that you, you have just started to speak English, but you do not get that support. That time you feel like, okay, I need to take my step back because I don't want to be, be a fan of people. I'm a joker. Like that, we get that feeling, and because of that, we end with, uh, we end with like uh, not speaking this language, not learning this language. Mm. Then how did you face criticism? Like obviously, people might have criticized you as well. How did you take it? Mm. Very badly. I am very uh, bad at like uh, uh, like someone just uh, criticize me. I feel like uh, okay, I am not feeling well, and uh, I do not accept their criticism as well because I know that I am practicing my English. 
and i know that why i want to learn this language and um, main thing is that i know that english is not everything english is just a language just like a marathi hindi and other language as well so i always take this language as a language and i i told him that yes uh, i am speaking wrong english i am learning this language so yes there is improvement and i am improving each day so at least i am trying and uh, i did not give them pretty uh, like uh, fear, like i did not uh, react uh, they at that time because what happened ma'am when more you will try to tell them that you are giving your best and all they don't care if they don't care then why you you how you are explaining them don't explain them anything mm -hmm. it is you that you have started this journey and it is you that you know that you are doing best in uh, this journey so keep working keep practicing this is the formula of uh, learning this language and any language not only english exactly yeah. yes and uh, like when people are practicing alone the main issue is there is nobody to correct or give feedback to us yeah how did you deal with yes. that part it was very frustrating it was like okay i need someone who who can correct me because i'm i am kind of person who always ready for feedback even there are 100 people and they are giving me feedback and they are saying that dipali you need to work on this i feel good I, okay this is my good day because i have got feedback otherwise mm -hmm. like if you are just speaking alone and you are not getting feedback so you will not see improvement and uh, if there is no improvement so what is the point of learning this language so i was speaking wrong english for long and uh, i it was very frustration uh, time frustrated time that uh, i was not getting feedback so i have started at that time um, i had started to watch uh, this connection videos on youtube as well and i i used to watch uh, like uh, animated movies okay a small stories and mm. because i am found out those stories uh, so i used to uh, remember that stories when mm. i when i sleep with myself and mm. uh, when i uh, have usual time that time i used to uh, like remember that story and i i was just rewriting that story re, uh, re like i was just uh, uh, re remembering all the stories okay. and i used to yeah i i used to like remember what happened i i, I used to uh, do the voice over of that story like uh, we always get uh, like voice with that story so i mute that voice like animated movies and uh, when i start animated movies that time i mute that voice okay and that time i i used to do a uh, voice over like oh. if that person is walking i was mm. saying that this one guy who is walking um upstairs and he got uh, that one one big bag and he is searching for that each and everything like small moments and all so i was just like doing voice over there like mm. that so mm. and, and um and with this practice i know that like they because of they there was no subtitle that uh, this short movie uh, does not have any short subtitles so we need to uh we we also need to like uh, create your own creativity and otherwise uh, you do not know you are making wrong sentences or uh, uh, correct sentences so it's okay you will build your confidence you will interact okay i am facing uh, issue that i am not able to describe this thing this mm. describe this situation so you search you search more content in just like uh, or you you start to listen to podcast regarding to that content okay you will watch uh, some movies uh, and uh, you will also do short shadowing technique as well you will use shadowing technique as well mm. so you will get lots of ways to uh, come over that uh, that thing can come over that uh, uh, situation that you are not getting that particular vocabulary so you can get this vocabulary from this way as well yeah very nice very nice to listen to your yes. story before we move ahead did you have any questions to ask me yeah ma'am i want to know uh, like uh, you are doing great work i uh, and you are not also uh, like it is not paid sessions so what is the main reason uh, of starting these unpaid sessions it is a great okay. work that you are doing yeah main reason yes. was talking to people and uh, mm -hmm. you know i also record the sessions and use them for my youtube channel the main intention was talking to yeah. people and giving them then an opportunity to speak which is you know finding yes. english speaking people is not very easy in india especially so when people find to and speakers they want to contact and talk to them so they need one chance at least to evaluate to get feedback about their yeah. english for so whatever like they have some doubts i get mails like i'm beginners i have a lot of doubts and i don't know whom to ask can you talk with me yes so so yeah. i that is the reason i just started 
talking and interacting with people and uh, that is how it started yeah there's nothing like a story behind it or something yeah. but ma'am you are speaking fluent english and we are living in india and i know that like we do not get opportunities and this is the main reason we are not fluent speaker so how did you build this confidence how do you become a confident speaker and fluent speaker can you please tell me some tricks and the techniques that you have used see honestly yeah. no tricks no techniques no magic at all because i learned english unknowingly naturally like how you learned marathi like that i learned english so it was like merely yeah. you know i never i studied it in school as a subject but that was for writing my exams but for speaking it came effortlessly to me uh, in school i studied in a convent in a city so uh, people in my school spoke much better english as compared to me elite okay, community yeah. or whoever came to school they were like a big shots a big uh, like families of the uh, city so they spoke much better english as compared to me so that is how i yeah. learned talking to them and i did not have friends uh, during the growing years in my college when i was doing my engineering just for the reason that i prefer to talk in english so whoever came to me would talk to me in english my best friends talk to me in english they say that we don't have connect when we uh, talk in english and when we talk in our native language only we become close to them but i didn't care because english was language that came first to me while talking if you don't want to talk to yeah. me that is your problem i cannot change my language to talk to you so it it will like yeah. you know i don't know why i don't know why there was no intention of improving my english or becoming a fluent speaker there was no intention behind it but i continued speaking so you can take this as a tip and trick just continue speaking mm -hmm. english it will come to you it will come to you naturally and as you know more and more knowledge knowledge will give you confidence the way you know more and more you keep learning more and more you will become confident so no matter just speak yeah. basic english enough just speak it correctly yes that's enough yeah. yeah that's what i'm saying ma'am i have one more question to you so can i ask you yeah yeah please yeah actually ma'am nowadays uh, people are uh, people do not uh, work on the sentence formation and basic english they always work on vocabulary how they you they will use heavy vocabulary and also uh, phrases idioms and uh, why this is happening uh, with us with beginners as well and with advanced level uh, speaker as well so using advanced vocabulary does it mean that person is fluent speaker if that person is not using advanced vocabulary and phrases and idioms and that person is not fluent speaker what's your take on this yeah my this is only my personal opinion so if i would say first focus you you have become fluent next focus on your accuracy yes. speak it correctly yes. correct grammar correct sentence structure and even that yeah. is wrong but you are using advanced words you are trying to use idioms where in the wrong places it is not necessary and it is yeah. wrong to use it in that situation but still you are using just because you want to show that you know that is wrong and it mm -hmm. sounds very funny sometimes annoying also first you gain mm -hmm. fluency speak the correct english and obviously if mm -hmm. if they have the interest then you focus on idioms but learn it thoroughly use it in the correct place when it is necessary in the correct situation yeah. there's nothing wrong in learning that because we are like yeah. always fancy towards the west slangs idioms the way they speak phrases we want to learn like mm -hmm. them it's okay you you can learn like them first you learn good english simple english mm -hmm. later you can like focus more on grammar sentence structure compared to vocabulary idioms or whatever yeah ma'am actually i have one more question over here like uh, people always uh, focus on uh, learning heavy vocabulary and phrases don't you think that sometime people intentionally use that vocabulary because they want to put you down how much i am confident speaker and fluent speaker than you don't you think that is uh, it is happening nowadays it is becoming status a symbol of everyone especially for indians yes yes i don't understand because i have interacted with many native speakers and they use because that is a part of their learning they have been learning from childhood it's okay but we have so much issue pronouncing it properly but still we want to use it i don't know for whatever reason i don't know the reason behind why they use it they should be able to give the proper answer for that but i would say you want to learn it is okay it is their wish they want to learn they can learn but learn the correct pronunciation as i said already like learn good grammar and everything then you choose if you want to make a person feel low just because you know good words no i would like if a 
fluent speaker is talking and then a person who is not fluent, not accurate, but only using good vocabulary, idioms, blah, blah. I would say that fluent speaker is better because it will sound nice. You will be able to understand them better. So, yeah, that's yeah. my opinion. Actually, ma'am, I have encountered with a speaker. Uh, they are very humble. They are fluent and confident speaker as well. And they are proficient. They are professional. So I have uh, never feel like that. Okay, they are putting me down because they are always humble. They will use substitute and they will use synonyms for that vocabulary. They, uh, if we just say that, please can we please rephrase this? Uh, I don't understand. Could you please uh, tell me what what does it mean? So do we uh, without making fun um, and without the uh, without any second thought, they uh, they repeat the same thing yeah. in different way as well. So yes. these kind of people are very rare, ma'am. I have uh, made this kind of people means like I have made this kind of people, and most of time I have made the people who criticize you. And uh, recently, like uh, it, it is not so, uh, it is not so uh, like uh, old uh, incident with me. And uh, I was speaking with one person, and I I do not know uh, of particular vocabulary and idioms. That person intentionally used that uh, vocabulary and that uh, the phrase and idiom. So I told him that I don't understand what does it mean. So he told me that uh, you are speaking uh, fluent English, you should not know this. I, I told him that, uh, yes, sir, I am learning this language. I'm improving day by day, you know, I'm in the process. So he, he hangs up the wall like that. I don't know why this happening in, uh, with us, like with everyone who is learner and who want to learn this language. Even uh, you are learning this language, they do not agree with you. They do not uh, like... Uh, uh, what to say, appreciate you that uh, you are improving you are giving you a base they always want to uh, put you down i don't know why no but when you have good knowledge it is you see knowledgeable people they are usually humble they are ready to uh, you know help you out with whatever but along with knowledge what should not come is arrogance okay you have yes. learned things but never be arrogant or proud of it the day you start feeling mm -hmm. that i know everything or i'm better than one person that is the day you will start falling down. So I, I will never yes, have yes. that attitude. If a, like is that too for a language or whatever, be it whatever. You should never look down mm -hmm. upon somebody who is not as proficient or as you are as good as you. I don't know. Arrogance should never come with your knowledge. They're not a good yeah. combination. Yeah. No, I am a big fan of Shadrushan sir. And uh, he used heavy vocabulary. But when he used uh, heavy vocabulary, that time uh, he... He always uh, like describe what does it mean, and yeah. he's such a humble. I must say, like uh, he had uh, has read lots of uh, like Mahab like novels like Mahabharata, mm. and also like uh, he has a good uh, uh, vocabulary. But uh, he he is always down to earth, and yes, yes. Uh, I'm big fan of him. Yes, and sometimes and he uses like, words which you're not even able to pronounce. Very new words from yes, the word dictionary. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but uh, but uh, he he distributed words. How can you pronounce he, each and yes. everything? Yes. Yeah. Uh, even even media also asked him uh, like uh, he they get just like uh, like uncomfortable. Like they do not understand what is happening. Like, like what you are speaking about and all. So he mm. uh, uh, like uh, he make you understand that uh, what does it mean? He distributed that words as well. He give you more information about it. Yes. Like that. Yes. yes. There yeah. are very few people that are there, they are down to word. I respect them a lot. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Yeah. yeah. Likewise, even same. You have to be humble no matter how much knowledge you have. You should be already yes. always ready to help the opposite person. Yeah. Yeah. Ma'am, you are also humble. You are also down to earth. You are lots of subscribers, but you are uh, serve giving uh, service to uh, like learners that uh, they do not uh, get opportunity, but you are creating an opportunity. Thank you so yeah. much for like uh, creating this platform that the uh, learners get chance to speak with, uh, speak with you. Yes, yes. yes. You mind giving me one minute? Just one minute. You are not visible. Yes, yes. Yeah, the main intention was see, people are subscribing. They are talking to me. They are enjoying. But they are the reason I am here. They are the reason I am growing. So I'll always be grateful to people who are watching my videos. They are learning. And I am here because of them. So I'm always happy and grateful to help them whatever they want. So, yeah, I will always yeah. remain like this. Yeah. yeah we, we always must um, uh, grateful towards like people who support us and uh, and also God that uh, uh, he, he always give you some opportunities. Yes. Uh, that like YouTube has like opportunities for like those uh, 
who want to start their career as well it is not like career but uh, you can boost your confidence uh, you can interact with people you can tell people that uh, you can learn this language and you are using this platform uh, to uh, educating people that uh, you can learn this language and you are creating opportunities to talk with them as well with you as well uh, yes. so it is, it is it is like ma'am like nowadays like time is more important than money as you know that no one gives time to anyone right i know but I... Uh, you are giving this time to them like it is like a great thing ma'am you are doing mm. amazing work i appreciate your work ma'am thank you so much and i do not differentiate on their level of english or like if they are a beginner i'm not giving opportunity to them because in the mail itself they write i am a beginner i won't be able to speak much so are you okay to talk mm. to me i'm more than ready to talk to whoever wants to talk to me because they can inspire yeah. for, for the people if they can become confident yeah. and talk to me on screen live they can inspire so many other people so i always encourage anyone yeah. who wants to talk can talk only thing is a time constraints and i'm a human i can't talk to everyone that is the only thing yes. i'm going to be apology for but uh, yeah that is pretty understandable but ma'am i have seen the uh, those like our fluent speaker they do not uh, prefer to talk with a beginner's level uh, speaker they think that why we are speaking with a person and why we are uh, like uh, wasting our time to speaking with that person uh, so they must also understand that if we are not helping people so how can others also uh, gain this language how can they build their confidence as well no one yeah. can learn the, uh, learn this language by birth we learn and it is a skill like learning language is a skill skill that you can yeah. enhance you can enhance this skill with time mm. more you will practice mm -hmm. and uh, more you will get fluent and uh, maybe uh, like anyone like who is just a beginner that person can be much more uh, better than that fluent speaker as well who knows yeah definitely it can be possible yeah definitely yeah i would encourage every everyone to talk and it's not about views or people are not going to like beginners i don't mind it my only intention is giving them chance to talk so i'm doing that yeah. uh, okay so yeah. now we like um, just a little bit you have to focus on your grammar with do and does because when you say yes. that like my i support my like you told some line okay he do not criticize yeah, yeah. me or something so just use he does not whenever he she yeah, it yeah. just does okay and yeah. then i am mm, found of stories is that what you told yeah. i am found of stories yeah. it is i am found, I'm found of anything yeah, okay okay yeah yeah this is a small difference found and found found is like i know yeah. i'm sure you know the difference so yeah little bit of here and there but your english is very good given the fact that you learned it by yourself without anyone guiding you excellent job and another thing apart from english what i would say is you are not shying away that i am a villager or my father is a farmer you are telling it proudly as your introduction that's your identity yes. so i am really happy yeah. to meet you and listen to you because people usually they hide that fact we are from farming background or whatever so but you are proud yeah. of it it is very nice you are content you are content of what you are how you are so very nice definitely you have a long way to go uh, i think sky is the limit keep improving keep learning yeah <laughs> thank Anything you so much ma'am for sending me mail and uh, i am feeling very grateful that i am speaking with you like um, you are very down to earth and uh, like uh, i don't have any words to express and i always uh, mention that my my papa is a farmer i am farmer's daughter like i have seen people criticize you people do not see that uh, they mm. feel like that they are uneducated and all but i yes. want to say you get uh, i want to tell them that no it is not like that um farmers are the uh, like the uh, they are the pillar yes yes backbone of we must respect them i always talk on farming farmers villagers and i love to live in village ma'am I'm proud yeah. to be a villager. Yes. I'm proud yeah. to be farmer's daughter. Hmm. And you should be no matter where you go further in your life because you're going to yes. grow. You should always be uh, respect roots from where you came from. So just remember that throughout yeah. your life, that will take you even further in your life. So I would say good luck yes. for your education, for your future. Thank you for sending in the request and talking to me. Okay. Yeah, have a good day. Thank you so much, ma'am. Bye. Great day. Thank you. Yeah. Bye.